right. Oh, I've learned something. I need dirt because a sheep can't eat sand. Yeah, sheep need. There needs to be at least one block of grass in there, or you need to connect the dirt to a block of grass. Otherwise, yeah. grass will never grow in there for them to eat. So we had more dirt. Only got five. <sighs> All right. <sighs> yeah, that should be enough. Okay. Okay. There you go, you dumb sheep. Just, just let it grow now. What? Uh, what are those buckets for? What? That thing you placed? Is it just to put water in? <gasps> no, that's the composter. Oh. I wonder actually if it takes cactus. I guess we'll see. Because if so, it does. Ooh. Dude, we could totally just harvest cactus and throw it in there. Use it as a source of uh, uh, bone meal. Boom, boom, boom. Because, you know, the cactus grow pretty quick. Really want to look at builds. But I wa want to build. Mm. I don't need this. Smoker, blast furnace, we got that. Do we have an enchantment table? Is that what's upstairs? Yeah, that's what's upstairs. Okay, an ender chest. That would be fun. What's yeah, those are useful. Cauldron. Um, what's a shulker box do? Oh, um, so you can actually, this is basically a treasure chest that you can carry in your inventory without losing the items in it. Okay, well it says a shulker shell. How do you get a shulker shell? You need to kill shulkers. Oh, it's a, it's shulkers an enemy. It's a creature you find. Although there are shulker boxes, this is the I have to the world. Where do you find the shulkers? In the end, they're in end cities. Ooh. Yeah. Basically, the same place you'll find in Elytra. Okay. So they're not exactly something we could easily get a hold of. Um, a stone cutter would be cool. I need oh, I could eat those. Wait, Do we have a grindstone? Uh, or a grinder or whatever. I think it's called a stone cutter, like where you can stone. cut stone slabs. Uh, no, no, no. We need like the the grinder for it's for weapons. Oh, uh, an anvil. You can use it for... No, there's the anvil, and then there's the the. How was called grinder or grindstone? Maybe it's just called grindstone. You can use it to repair tools and weapons without needing to use an anvil or enchant them. Is that a grindstone? Let me search it. Yeah, I found it. Let's see. Oh, it yeah. needs... Oh, I just need a stone slab. And I can make it. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to make something real quick for you. Uh, and you'll be able to get a stone slab. Oh, uh, I just grabbed. We have stone in the uh, thing. I grabbed some out. I was just gonna make one stone slab with it. Or what? Stone slab. 
How do I make it? I'm just on it too. Yeah, I'll make it. Oh, it's Got just it. one. Okay. We're good. Here, I got a stone cutter as well. Um, so we can put them in this corner. Okay, the stone cutter is above the workbox. Oh, no. Okay, here's this. Oh, so this, okay, this can repair and disenchant tools. Hmm? Although I'm not quite sure why you'd want to disenchant stuff. See, we actually do not have an anvil. I'm gonna make one of them. No, the anvil, the anvils break oh, when you repair that's stuff. That's right, that's right. Does this thing break so, too? No, this thing doesn't break. Yeah, that's. So we need to use this for repairing and we use the anvil just for enchanting. Also, I got four bone meal out of one cactus harvest when I put it in that uh, compost. So I cut down all the cactus except for the stumps, mm. put it in there, and I got four out of it. So it's actually not a bad way to get a lot of it. There we go. I, oh, okay, I do have a door there. But yeah, I'd say ideally what we would want to do if we can, once we can get like a shulker box is uh, you'd want to put items in it. Like, like say you go to the nether to harvest a bunch of crap. Um, you fill it full of items so, you know, your inventory is not cluttered. Mm-hmm. Then you, you can stick it in the ender chest, you know, just in case you die so you don't lose it. Yeah. Come back here, pull it out of the ender chest, and it's literally like a chest within a chest type of thing. So you can fill it full of tons of resources and not have to worry about, like, losing anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess space, too. And then, and then if you use the ender chest, yeah, you won't lose anything. So it kind of it kind of creates a nice shortcut, I guess is the best way to say it. Do you need water to make grass grow, or no? No, you have to connect a grass block to it. Do, do we? Do you have that pick? Do that? Did that pick you have uh, have? Um... It's got fortune on silk touch. Fortune. Okay, no and. So we would need silk touch. Either that or we need to create a line of grass that comes from this grass over here. Is, all the way that's over the here. only way to make that grass grow? Yes. It has to be connected to other grass, basically. That sucks that there's no way to dig up a grass block without it turning into dirt. Unless there is, and I just well, don't know. There, it's, it's, it's chance. It's random chance. There's a very, very small percentage that you'll get one. I see. I mean, I know I've gotten them before, but it's it's so rare and just doesn't happen often enough that it's not really worth taking that chance. I'll just I can just connect the grass from the one that we already have. I got enough dirt right now. Let's see. Boom! 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 boom. Hello, merchant. Can you offer me? This guy sucks, man. He wants one gunpowder for one emerald. Only the ones in the villages are worth anything. Or worth working right. with. This guy, Everyone else is just a waste. Dude, this guy wants five. Five emeralds for a jungle sapling. We live by a jungle, buddy. You need to go somewhere else. Take your business elsewhere, you Seriously, seriously, dude. Hey, Napster. Napster, we got one of your guys over here. Ripping people off. Where is that guy? There he is. I guess Napster's like a... He's like Robin Hood. He steals from the rich and gives to the needy. Thanks for the lead there, buddy. Yeah, take your business elsewhere. We don't need none of your crap around here. Okay. Two leads and 
four leather. That's not bad. We also um, need to find a jungle. <gasps> I found turtles, George. Can we put them in a bottle or a, a bucket? A turtle? Yeah. No, you don't put a turtle in a bucket. Can you bring one of those leads here? Maybe we can take them to our aquarium. Yeah, give me a second. There's two. Bring two leads just in case it works. Um, I think we would probably rather breed them than capture them. Wait, I'm not quite sure. Wait, can we not breed them inside our aquarium? I'm not sure if you can or not. I think they need land because they need to be able to lay eggs. They lay them on the beach, basically. Ooh, if we have any extra flowers laying around that you don't need, you can put them in the composter. There's a good use for flowers. Okay, where where are you at? Over here. I'm just over by the fishing area. Oh no no don't eat there. If we can get seagrass, we can feed it to them. And if they start breeding, they'll come up on land to lay eggs. Oh, I guess you've already got them captured. So the thing the thing is, when they lay eggs, mobs will be attracted to the eggs and they'll try to destroy them. Mm. But as the turtles grow, um, like as the baby turtles grow, they lose their scoots on their backs. And I think it's five i think you need five of them and you can use it to make a helmet that gives you the ability to breathe for longer underwater that sounds good to me do you want me to build like a little roof yeah, for them not a bad deal uh, i don't know if we need a roof just make sure it's high enough that mobs can't get in from the outside definitely can we need to find seagrass though i don't see any seagrass at least not in this ocean this ocean's pretty barren Give me a minute to see if I can find some. I'll, I'll bring it back so we can start growing it and trying to breed them. Well, this is going to be the jankiest freaking thing ever. These turtles sound like zombies when they breathe. <laughs> okay, I do not think any mobs can get in there. If they can, they are amazing. And they deserve it. They can kill our turtles. I don't see any seagrass. I, I guess a spider can get in, but that's it. I don't think spiders, I think it's mostly zombies and skeletons that will target them. I don't think anything else will, really. Yeah, most zombies can fly. They ain't getting in. Just wait till they add flying zombies to the game. <laughs> <laughs> zombies with guns. I'd play that. Yeah. I remember back in the day, somebody made a Minecraft mod that was a Left 4 Dead. It looked really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it was Left 4 Dead mod that had Minecraft skin on it. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Still pretty cool looking though. See Minecraft in that context is just horrifying. Uh, where the crap is the seagrass? Ah, uh, what I want to do is make more sugar cane. Oh, our zombie with a fishing pole turned into a drown. Yep. They sound terrible, dude. They're just like gurgling. <laughs> mm -hmm. So is the seagrass different from seaweed? Yeah. It's just, you know the little grass plants that you sometimes see that you can get seeds out of on land? Mm -hmm. It's basically like that, but for the ocean. Oh, okay. 
They usually grow, they can grow in any body of water. It's just, they have to spawn. And it doesn't look like any of them spawned in any of the ocean, bleeding as far over there as I could go. <laughs> sucks. These oceans are pretty empty. I might have to plant some. Just try to make them a little more vibrant. Do you have some? Oh god. What the hell is that Benny? Benny Rabbit. Same pack. Okay. About there. Okay. Um, you said we needed more books, right? Yep. Oh, we have very much leather. Is it leather we're lacking on or paper? It's paper. Darn. Yeah, the sugar cane's just a slow. Kind of a slow pace. It sucks. Oh. Okay. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. I'm trying to, oh, I wanted to go see what else I could build. This. Yeah, I'm gonna make some rabbit stews real quick. Uh, what do campfires do? Nothing? Um, I think they're just light sources. Oh, and they have smoke, but I mean, that's not really yeah. important, so... All your bowls and mushroom. Have you gone to the nether yet? Like, have you got any blaze rods? Uh, no, I haven't gone there yet. Okay. What about a cartography table? What do those do? You use that to make maps. Maps. What about a fletching table? Uh, it's worthless. Smithing table? Oh, uh, I think it's also worthless. Worthless? Why make worthless items in a video game? Good question. I have no idea. Do you know what an observer does? Um... <coughs> uh, i trying to remember. I wish there was like an item info or like an <coughs> item description. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Uh, I think an observer... It, it, Something about when a block changes, like something about a block changes, it triggers it. Like if an observer is set to look at a block of grass or something and when a flower is planted on it, it will trigger it and send a redstone signal. Mm. Something like that. It's it's I've I've tried to use them before and I've never been able to quite get it to work right. I have to Google it. So my last Two questions. Do you know what a daylight sensor is and what it does? Uh, so the daylight sensor, it triggers when the sun hits it. Or it triggers when the sun doesn't. I think it triggers when the sun hits it. So what you can do is you can actually put it on top of a redstone lamp. And uh, when... If I remember correctly, when the... Uh, lamp is in sunlight it won't it'll shut it'll shut the lamp off when the sensor is in sunlight and when the sensor is not in sunlight it'll turn the lamp on what about a loom do you know what do looms do you use a loom to make banners okay so i mean like some of the things are kind of cool like a daylight sensor you can use it to basically make street lights that come on at night Street light. Street. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Make love, my cows. Oh, 
we got so many cows. Might be time to slaughter. Slaughter some of them. Uh, uh, uh. 